G'day viewers, here we are at Lancaster in Southern California. Why are we here? Well, I've had a couple of viewers contact me through the comments to let me know that they are unable to use the Rotom cab car if they spawn it in in free roam. So I'm just going to show you how to set it up so you can actually do that. So we've got the Rotom bi-level cab car and let's pick a short one because we're just in the middle of the platform here and we want it to fit and we'll shall bung him down here now there's a few steps to go through not many because not everything sets up by default when you um, spawn them in in free roam normally so you'd have the lights on for example and we do not but we need to do some important stuff before we go and sort that out now the first thing to do is to sit in the chair and take possession of the train now turn cab setup on put the reverser in and we can cut in the brakes but we'll leave that in the handle off position for the moment now next thing we want to do is leave the generator field off let's wander up to the other end of the train we've had a person climb in you know people just surprise you on railways all the things they do it's like it's an open door i'll go through that don't know where it's going but it's an open door. I work on a uh, heritage railway as a volunteer as train crew in the locomotives and um, the things people do often surprise you. Now, we're up here in the locomotive. Do not sit in the chair. That would be a bad thing to do. We're here at the head and power panel. So what we want to do is start HEP up. You can leave everything here as its default. It's not quite right for what you want to do because um, you actually only want the rear. So local HEP rear only, but it doesn't matter. So I don't like chancing fate. We just press the HEP on button here and we see the HEP requested light came on. And now we've got four green lights up there for HEP on and TLC. Now, there's a couple of things that you might want to do in this car. I always like to do them because it's more correct. Turn on the number board lights, the step lights, and the marker lights on the front. Now, don't be confused because we're talking about the front of the locomotive, which is there, not the front of the train. So don't put your rear lights on. You don't need to do anything else in here, so we will just come out now. Always climb down rather than jump out because in the new scoring system, acting unsafely will uh, be counted against you. So we should have our marker lights on now and our number board lights. We do. Lovely. Let's come wandering back up here. I haven't set up anywhere for this train to actually go as yet. We've only just spawned it in. Now let's just pop back in here. Let's get this door closed. There's a method to my madness. There we go. I always like to close the door I came in from so that when I come up here and sit in a chair and I go open doors, it will instead of locking just that one. Okay, we can finish setting up in here now. So let's turn our generator field on and let's turn our headlights on. Let's put them on bright because we're going to be leaving in a moment and there's bright desert sunlight. Bright is the only setting you can probably see. There we go. We've got them on and if we honk the horn, you can see our flashes are working as well. Okay, let us set a path on this thing. We're not going to go very far because Lancaster is miles from anywhere. So we're just going to come down to about... Ah, let's go a little bit further. Just for the sake of a tutorial, let's go somewhere interesting that's got some sidings. We'll come here. All right, yep, I want to confirm that. Very good. We can close our doors. We can put our reverser into forwards. Once all the doors are shut, the doors closed light has come on down on the dash there. That's the little green one right there. We can release our brakes and we can see that those are working fine. A couple of honks to warn the dumb people that we are in fact going to move the train.
It's always amused me just how much you need to honk the horn. But people are people. They do interesting things. We're only allowed to do 40 mile an hour out of here, so there's no need to go too hard. Let's cruise down the line. See our headlights are working there. Now uh, coming up onto a crossing, have a yellow signal. Also power off because we're fast approaching our speed limit. Two longs, a short and a long is required when operating American modern era trains. There's a Federal Railroad Administration rule that requires it. Interestingly, it doesn't really seem to help because I think they have something like 1,500 level crossing accidents a year in the United States which simply proves that Darwin was right and that when you combine dumb people with trains, bad things happen. Just letting us cruise along. I can see it's slowing down, but it doesn't really worry me because we're going to be stopping pretty soon anyway. And that will be the end of our little tutorial now that we've got everything up and running. So you can also see, I mean, it's daylight, so it's hard to tell, but you can see that the instrument lights have actually come on as well. Might even be able to make those a little bit brighter for you. There you go. You can see that they have come on. Ooh, a reward. I get lots of rewards because I keep swapping back and forth between the uh, dev beta releases and the public one. I mean, the public one to make this for you. And when I swap... Achievements and awards tend to get wiped out. All right, we're just about there. Gravity's doing the work for us, and we're not actually having to brake. I might even have to power just to make it. Back we will. We'll be here forever. Now, because my path was set um, just up close to these sidings up here, uh, that a signal ahead of us is red and will not clear, even if there's nothing coming. Because it's just the way free roam paths work. The dispatch system, and hence the signaling and safety systems, pretty much simply ignore you until you've got an actual path. There we go. This should bring us to a stop near enough spot and that will be the end of this tutorial so i hope it's been helpful for you and it's answered your questions on how to set things up uh, if it hasn't or you've got more questions just let me know in the comments and i'll see what i can do so see you later bye now